Hi everyone, in this video I will demonstrate creating a Visio project file. To do that, go to Start, Projects, Manage Projects. This will take you to the Project Explorer. And you're going to want to find the project that you want to work on here in your grid. I'll scroll down a little bit. I'll select this project. And what you're going to want to do is check this out from the server. Don't open the project file, just check it out. So to do that, I'll just click the button here on the ribbon. And now this project is checked out to me, and I'm able to edit this, including creating uh, a Visio file. There are about three ways you can create a Visio file. Uh, you can right click to do it. You can do it from the menu up here. Uh, you can also do it from down here on the Files tab, which is where they're going to display once they're created. Uh, when I say they, any sort of drawing file that you create will list here under your Files tab. So uh, there's a new button here, and you can create, uh, as you can see here, a new Visio drawing. So I'm going to go ahead and click this, and that's going to open up the template selection window. And here you'll see a list of the available templates. I'm going to go ahead and select one of these. Uh, notice they are named after the, the page size. So I'll choose a 36 by 24 template. Uh, it automatically will name it after the project and put a dash one there. You can certainly rename that if you'd like. And um, it's automatically going to uh, be set to the Visio category. It's one of the default categories. Here, That's just for organization for your project files. If you'd like your company logo um, to display automatically on the Visio pages, go ahead and select this box down here. Uh, you only have to select that one time and uh, that setting will be remembered. And when you're ready, go ahead and click OK. And this will open up the project uh, in Visio. And if this is your first time opening a Visio project file, you're going to be prompted to download the Dtools SI2017 stencils from the Dtools server. You're going to want to say yes to this. So go ahead and do that. This will take a few minutes. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video while this is working here. It's just downloading um, all of the Visio stencils that are available to you that we've created here at Dtools. And again, this will just take a few minutes. I'll be back with you uh, once this is done. Okay, the stencils have finished downloading, and this is the Visio interface uh, in SI 2017. Um, this is actually Visio at this point, but what we've done is we've added uh, the Dtools add-in for Visio, and that's over here on the left-hand side. You'll notice uh, there's a tab that shows all of your products. There's also a Shapes tab here that will display all of those stencils that just downloaded. Another thing about these uh, default templates that we have inside of the software is that we have one of each page type uh, or page style that we um, do at the bottom already built in for you. There's a cover sheet, uh, which you can do whatever you want with, but here are the four page styles, line, elevation, plan, and schematic. So every one of our default templates starts with one of each of these pages. You can, of course, create as many of those as you need. Another thing to mention here also is that the project editor also opens uh, when you create the Visio project file. So if you click this button here, you'll notice that that will open up the project editor. Uh, this will minimize as you work if you're not using separate screens uh, or if you accidentally close this, uh, the project file, it can always be reopened very quickly via this project editor button. And um, they are associated and of course now uh, if you already have uh, products here in your bill of materials, you can start dragging and dropping over to your Visio pages to create your Visio drawings. And we'll cover that uh, functionality in other videos. For now, I'm going to go ahead and just close this Visio project file by clicking the X here in the upper right hand corner. You'll be prompted to save this. I'll choose yes. We'll say save. And this is saving the project file. And uh, this will then take you back to where we left off, which was the Project Explorer. Uh, notice that this project file uh, has not been checked in. It's still checked out to you. So we'll go ahead and be proper and check that into the server. And while we're here, I just wanted to point out and show you uh, where the file displays. And as you can see, down here on the Files tab, uh, there's the Visio uh, project file that was just created. So moving forward, when you want to work on this project, if you just want to work within the project editor, uh, you don't want to do anything in Visio, you would open the project file from the grid up here. If you want to work in Visio, you would open the project down here uh, by double clicking the uh, actual Visio file or hitting open. Um, if it's checked into the server, you'll be prompted to check it out at that point in time. And that is how you create a uh, Visio project file. 